Hello people, welcome to Mel Have Reacts today. I'm doing a concert review of the show I went to on Saturday, which included Shav Intent, um Virginia Ground, Flash Cut Black Lips, Black Dimer, and Whitechapel at the Agora Ballroom Theater. Um first off I'm gonna give you the venue review. First the Agora Ballroom Theater is a pretty nice venue, I'm not gonna lie. First time being there, looks pretty old. And I like how I said sits up in like two stages where you have like the main bands on the theater stage and the um the small bands, the side bands on the bottom stage. Uh first things first. He went and bought the merch, I feel like. That's the first thing I'm Of course I'm the one carrying all the merch. I'd be the merch holder when my friends go into the mosh pits. The first band we saw was I think called the party at the side stage. They seem pretty, so I'm not gonna lie. And then we walked around. Demons with was with him. We were playing. Eh, not I really. Not, I kind of popped in for like two seconds, saw him for a second. So I was like, nope, I'm not gonna listen to him. I'm my thing. Like it was like death metal trying to be death metal. Like it was not my thing. And then the first band on Show and Tent came on. Now that was a band I was most interested in to see. And they play I think five songs. Um. The return, well, the intro and the return. So, um, the Hall Prophet, Arnie Pasolamu, and I can't remember the other name, the Battle of Something. I can't remember what it was called exactly. But those bad songs. Overall, they sound pretty good. It, you could hear everything they were saying. And Ben did pretty decently, not gonna lie, to capture a video of Arnie Pasolamu that's on the channel too. Watch the video. Um, second band up with Everton's Crown now. For some odd reason, all I could hear was just bass and bass and more bass when they were just kind of play. I didn't know any songs they play, at least besides the new one they released. Um, Freedom Process was like, I think, third in the set. It was decent songs, not gonna lie. But everything else seemed pretty decent. The next were Flesh God, Black Lips. And out of all the bands, Flesh God was the most weirdest one out of all of them. Because, like, okay. You got deathcore, deathcore, then you got some kind of weird mix between metal and like opera. It's, it's makes no sense. Makes no sense. And they should have put some metal this in the I mean, the only round they're good. They were it was a decent set. They played. I mean, there was a lot going on in that band. Like they had orchestras, they had freaking opera singing, they had. A freaking piano somehow in the background. They had like two screamers going on. There was a lot going on in that band. When we were on site, it's good, it's decent. They seem to get the most crowd enjoyment out of all. The mosh pit seemed pretty decent. And the crowd seemed pretty most enjoyable for them. But, I mean, it's just not for me, I feel like. And Black Diamond Murder came on and just, just stole the shot. Just stole the shot. Just take it away from me. Because Trevor sounded good. The guitar player was just, oh my gosh, his hair. And he was on a different level, I feel like. His head was just going around crazy. And like, he was on a different level of his solos and everything. Um, they play about mostly, they all play mostly the new Viper Rangers album and some of the old ones, like Out of Return. Um, stuff like that. And then White Chapel came on and did their set. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was it was all right. Like, how can you top Black Diamond over White Shovel? You really can't with this. So, um, yeah, that was my concert review. Now, I probably won't be opening a video until Monday because I got personal things to do. So, um, yeah, peace.